All right, we are back. We are back and playing Mysteries from Beyond the Grave from the Talos Principle. And it has been a very long time, like a few weeks at least. And I really wanted to make another episode because I'm still having fun with this map, but I was very busy to say the least. So, but we are finally back recording another episode. As always, it's great to be here just playing this game that I have like since I was much younger. Um, yep. So, if I recall last time we were looking at this puzzle, just kind of giving it an initial look without actually like seriously trying to solve it. Also, I hope this time I've managed to figure it out so that the game sounds are not almost as loud as my voice because that makes it very annoying. <laughs> but looking at the bars of OBS, the recording software, on the screen to my right. It seems like everything should be fine, I hope. If it gets ruined again, don't be surprised. That's a recurring theme of this episode. Anyways, so this is one of the quotes from the actual game. I received a comment from the maps creator, Presho Slovakia, that in this puzzle, it doesn't really have anything to do with the things from outside. It's from, you just have to find like hidden switches or something. So I guess we're gonna look for that. I'm too lazy to deal with that recorder puzzle at the moment. And I also got suggestions from multiple people that I should make my episodes longer so that you can just kind of relax and get into them more, which is completely fair. I was worried about them being boring, but... But they do have a point, so I will do that. Let's just have some fun, relax, and play some Talos together. Yeah. I, 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 just, I, got, I got so focused with talking that I... I haven't even been... I've just been running around aimlessly. I'm trying to find the switches. I think. And that could be anywhere, so... And maybe they're behind, like, the statue. Oh, yep! Very clever. Very clever. I like that. And then, of course, there's the one that here... Okay. So that lowered... And then I think the maps creator said there's one more switch I need to find. I like that the switch is on behind a statue. That, that was creative, instead of just like being behind a tree or something. And it might also be on one of these like... Oh! Wait, I'm confused. I don't, I don't remember exactly what the comment said. Oh wait, when did this open? I guess I did find all the right switches. I thought I thought I remembered them saying that there was like three switches, but but I, I guess not. So now we get the box. We can place it here and find out what else this puzzle has in store for us. Um, so for the most part, it seems to be just the same thing as in the actual game. Maybe there is another switch somewhere that I need to find and it'll give me another box or something. I don't know. Or it'll turn off this door. On this tree. Cause see, it seems like right now, um, this door is only activated by a pressure plate, but there could be like a third switch or something that turns off this door so it doesn't have to be used by the pressure plate. So then I could take the box in and desync the mines. I don't know what I'm doing. Hi, hi, hi. If there is a third switch, it's probably in here somewhere. It's in that crevice. Nothing? Okay. Aha! Thank you, Precious Slovakia. Oh. Hmm. What did that do then?
And what did that do? What was the point of that? Oh, wait, there's there's another box here. I don't know how I didn't see that. Oh, <laughs> I can, oh, okay. So just like in the other puzzle from the actual game, we just uh, kind of do this. Uh, these things would always scare me. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Um, again, now that I've started looking for switches, I can't seem to stop, but we do have a jammer here. I'm not sure what for though, since since this thing cannot be jammed. So what's back here? Nothing. Can we jam one of those turrets? I, I have to. I have to. I have to see. <laughs> Now I'm getting sidetracked, as usual. No, I don't think I don't think we can. <laughs> just just thought I'd check it out. Um How do we get this door to go down though? Oh, uh Floating floor thingies, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, like I said, now I now now that I've started looking for switches, I can't really seem to stop. Am I supposed to put the box on the mine? Oh, wait. Wait, what? No. I think I'm supposed to put the box on that mine and then jump on the wall. The only problem is I'm not 100% sure how to do that. Um. <laughs> Cause these, the, I can stand on these rocks, or these these piles of bricks or whatever, but that does not seem to be high enough to actually avoid getting blown up by the mine. And we have a jammer here, but there's no way it can even see the mines from here. So all in all, no idea what to do. Um, oh. Wait, what the heck? Okay. Well, that's something. Just wish we hadn't left the hexahedron on the other side of the thing, but... Alright, so we... We left the hexahedron on the other side of the thing, but before we reset... There's like a glitch that like speedrunners do, and I you can like use items to jump over walls, but th that does not seem to be working. I thought I thought it it was worth trying, but guess guess we gotta reset. Oh, hey, I'm so good. I am a pro. <laughs> now what though? Oh, okay. I I know what to do. I know what to do. Please don't blow me up. That would not be very nice of you. We get this other box. Okay, yeah, this is a good puzzle. I like this a lot.
Now all we have to do is stay out of the way of this other mine. Yes. I'm standing on the statue. I don't know. Could we have picked up that hexahedron from there? Probably not. We're just supposed to switch. Okay, please don't kill me. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now all we have left to do is grab this hexahedron. Place it here. Do this. Dip de do. Let's go, and there's one more switch. What does this do? <laughs> ah, I see. All right, so, um... And I guess that's how we get the star, too, because we get... We have a ton of, like, we got a connector out here. Ah, I see, I see. So we have to get this other connector, and then I guess place it on this pressure plate so we can bring this connector in here, and all in order to get that star. Let's try and get the star. Um, so if I recall correctly, the, uh, yeah, the blue thing's in here. <laughs> okay. Okay, then. So let's do a little bit of recording and... What? Since when do purple barriers turn off the recording? They only do that like when you leave a puzzle. Like like purple barriers within the recording don't do that. Well, that's a little bit. That's just the faintest little bit on the annoying side, I I, I will say. I guess we've started by trying to solve this puzzle, and now we're, I mean, trying to get the star, and now we're actually solving this puzzle. Hmm. This is weird. Yeah, this is weird. I don't know. I kind of don't know what to do. Let me just try this again.
Okay, we can do that. Now the question is, how do I get out? <laughs> I guess they weren't kind enough to put a ladder here. I guess they didn't know that was possible. <laughs> um, so that's actually an interesting mechanic. I didn't know that that even exists. Like, it takes a while for the recorder to dissipate. Allowing you to have a little bit of window of time to get in here. But not enough window of time to get out. So I guess that was not the intended solution. And we must reset. Fair enough. Um, we spawn back in here for some reason to set it out the puzzle's entrance. I think that has to do with like the reason why these purple barriers stop the recorder when usually the ones inside the puzzle don't. Because they're really like puzzle entrances on their own. They have like chapters and stuff attached to them. I've I've messed with the Talus Principle Editor myself. Um, so what would be the correct solution then? I guess we have to like bring one of them like inside? Yeah, this is annoying, and all because of this one wall right here, too. If it wasn't for this wall, this puzzle would be a lot easier. But hey, this might be the first, and, and, and no offense intended, but this might be the first genuinely, like, really challenging puzzle that I've experienced in this map so far. And again, not that the easy puzzles were a letdown, not in any way. It was, this map has always been fun, but this one, this is, like, like I'm actually at a loss. I don't, I don't really know what to do here. And I don't know. I guess like we. I think we're supposed to bring the connector in, like the one of the connectors in, and then we. But we can't even see that from here. So. Oh. Oh boy, I guess we're gonna have to get that jammer. That's not even hard. The star isn't even going to be hard to get. Let's let's pause for a moment and get this star. Place full secrets. Oh. Oh, there's an. I forgot that there's that wall there. That I guess is unlocked by other switches. Oh. And now the wall's gone. But no, no, it's not. So that means there's one more switch hiding somewhere. Ah, uh, there it is. I don't know if that desynced them enough, but oh well, whatevs. Did that desync them enough? I do not think it did. Yeah, that most certainly did not. Okay, that was that was mildly frightening, but remember to of course grab the box. And then we must look for the other switch. This place is nothing but secrets. They weren't kidding with the title name, that's for sure.
Very creative, though, I will say. If you folks could just hurry up a little bit, that would be... Actually, no. Oh, I almost just blew myself up there. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your cooperation. My god. Okay. That was a little bit scary. Uh, <laughs> okay. Just a wee bit scary. Just a tad bit scary. <laughs> I did not desync them well enough. But oh well. We survived. And that's all that matters. Hello there, good sir. Let me just squeeze by you real quick. Grab the other box. Oh, frickin' muffins. I did not do that right. Uh. Wait, actually, what am I... What am I doing... What am I trying to go in there for? <laughs> I, I was, like, trying to solve the whole puzzle again. All I really need is to get this jammer out. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's all we have to do. Uh, I, I was, like, trying to, like, solve the whole puzzle again, and I got, like, confused. But it looks like this star is going to be ours. Yeah! Sense of accomplishment! Now back to the grind on this puzzle. So weird. I don't, I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. There have to be, have been like, oh, oh. Is this really the solution? I feel like it is, and I feel like it's not intended. And we won't even be able to really reach that connector anyways. Yeah, this is just a little bit. Just the slight, ever so slightest bit on the, uh, the frustrating side. <laughs> not quite, though. Not quite. Yeah, but again, it's blocked by that wall, so we can't... There isn't a whole lot we can do to activate this receiver. Are we supposed to, like, bootstrap it somehow? That's... Yeah, this is an angle we could definitely do. I don't know how, though. Like, my brain is not big enough for this. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't. 
You know, I don't think we can bootstrap it. We don't have enough connectors. Bootstrapping is, of course, like you activate this from in here so it stays open through itself. That's kind of what I'm saying. I'm not sure if bootstrapping is the actual term or not. So yeah, I I am a Talos commentary channel. That's what this channel is, just playing Talos and commentating on it. And I, before I actually started doing this, I would watch other Talos commentary YouTubers. You can see them in my channel's page, LB and Tangu Drop were the two main ones that I watched, and I really liked their stuff, and LB was the one who referred to this technique as bootstrapping, so I don't know if that's just something that LB made up, that YouTuber, or if it's actually like what it's known as in the Talos community, but, but that's the technique. And all of LB's videos are now from seven years ago. <laughs> Not that I was watching them seven years ago, but I have, and, and Tangu Drop quit their channel too, so I guess I'm I'm the only one left. Care, care, I I I carry on their legacy by playing Talos and talking about it. Crazy to think that is how far this game has come too, because like it was it's almost is it a, is it almost going to be ten years since it was released? I forget if it was released in 2014 or 2016, but. And it's still going too. The people are still making custom maps for it. That's why that's why I think Pressure of Slovakia, the creator of this map, is really cool. Keeping it keeping it going. And someday, hopefully someday we can all see Talos Principle 2. But there's my little ramble, because I'm currently stuck on this puzzle. It's just like it's this puzzle's annoying because just the angles are like so like tempting. Like you're so close. <laughs> To getting it right but there's like one like tiny wall that's just ever so slightly in the way that makes it impossible and i'm not saying that's wrong i'm not saying that's bad design lord knows the regular talos game itself did that a lot but <laughs> i'm just saying it's like it's just like just enough to infer you like if you're like, like oh if this wall was a little bit to the left we could like hit this like if this was just a little bit to the left we could get do everything and have all our dreams come true and achieve world peace but nope this wall or this wall <coughs> I don't know what I'm saying um so like we can get this and it's like just a little bit impossible to reach from inside there This is a really good puzzle. It's, it, it definitely has me stumped. Is this ladder for something? Like, is it more than just an escape route if you get trapped? Is it part of the actual puzzle? Like. I can see where this puzzle is called the purple enemy, too. get a connector in here, the recorded connector or whatever, and then have the other connector power it through this. But then but then when we go through here, the recorder stops, so we can't get through here, so we have to figure out some way to get in through here, but the angling just doesn't work. I don't know what I'm doing. 
What if there are like hidden switches in this puzzle? No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I'm at a loss. Um... I guess we'll have to come back to this puzzle. Me just sitting here staring at the receivers certainly isn't entertaining anyone. And I know people said that they wanted longer episodes, so... But, but, you gotta admit, even that's a little boring, so... What is this? Over the fence. Well, this one certainly looks very creative. Just, I can just tell, like, this really long purple thing. This one looks exciting. Uh, I think my mind needs a break from <laughs> that other one, that's for sure. We'll come back to it. I guess for now the only thing we can do is go over the fence. Let's see what's over here. Yeah, this puzzle looks fun, my goodness. I just realized that the items... Well, I mean, the hexahedron doesn't have an outline when you try to pick it up. Like, like this thing highlights in white, but this doesn't. That's been actually tripping me up while I've been playing. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, my God. I did not mean to jump over that. I was just pressing a space like a little idiot. <laughs> oh, no. Well, we won't we won't be losing much progress, that's for sure. I also wonder, is this the puzzle where you're supposed to get the star? No, it's the blue laser from the other one. Yep. I don't know how I found that hexahedron. That was hidden. Go over here. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just doing it in a very confident manner. Like like not even wasting time to decide. Cause I have a feeling I know what this puzzle's trying to. Oh, there's a purple thing. Oh, what? Oh, okay, we go we go here. Oh. I'm getting ahead of myself. Whoa, what? Oh, wait. Whoa. That was a little... That, that, that was just the strangest bit odd. I know what we need to do. Oh. 
easy. <laughs> Let's go. Can't help but feel a little proud of myself for that one, getting it so quickly. Good job, though. That was cool. I like that one. That was creative. Nice and simple, but very creative. And we'll write it. We might as well tackle this one with all the... What was this puzzle originally called in the actual game? Because, like, I noticed the title's Crossfire, and I thought... Didn't this puzzle also have to do with Crossfire or something? What was its original name? Like... Wait, we can seek counsel? Here, those oh, who God. Thee may this seek guy. The counsel of my blessed messengers. A but messenger must be awakened be first. Easily, for your accomplishments must be your own. Okay, so I, I guess they just let the map maker, I mean, just left that there. <laughs> Because that's exactly the same thing that happens in actual Talos. I thought maybe they like co mo coded in like a custom council or something, but that's not. All right, what do we have here? I assume if we go here, we'll get shot. And try to take this jammer. Oh, I don't like how close that thing is. Hello, friend. Hmm. Yeah, no, there's no way we're getting that jammer. Is this thing gonna kill us? Let's not tempt it. <laughs> All right, so all the jammers, it seems, are out of reach, one way or another, and... Can we go through here? Oh, we can. Oh, okay. Can we get this one too? Hey, what is this? <laughs> I don't know what to make of any of this. There's just a bunch of jammers that don't seem to be able to do anything because there's they're all like blocked by various obstacles ranging from turrets to mines to at barriers etc We can't even jam anything either, except this wall, because even, because we, otherwise we won't be able to even just get out. I don't know what the... I don't know what to do, so let's try and grab this. Oh, okay, that was simple. That was much simpler than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's misleading, because you think that they're gonna be able to fire a huge amount, but then they don't. Like, they're... I'm 
Then we just let that take care of itself. Wait, what? Is that it? Uh, oh, I did not even see that. Okay. All right, then. I did not see the extra mine. I will say that. We just wait for it to come out. Hurry up, my dude. There you are. Good little boy. I why did I why did I say that? Why did I assume it's gender? Let's go! Oh, what? We're trapped. No! Hmm, alrighty then. What do we have left? Um, seems like all we have left is just this one right here. Oh, oh, wait, there's two. Never mind. Never mind then. I guess I, I didn't see this one. The power of forest. Oh, that is definitely a forest. And let me guess, there's like stuff in, hidden here, like switches or something. <laughs> looks cool. Though. I like this. This looks really cool. Like, like, actually, that looks really cool. So, okay, so... The puzzle is, I assume, it's revol it revolves around the forest. Which I take to mean there's, like, a connector hidden in here somewhere. But... Or a switch on one of the trees. I'm not seeing anything, though, so... Uh, oh, I thought that was a connector. It was literally just a glimmer of light on the wall. What's behind here? Okay, this looks trippy. Just just a sheer like like sea of plasma barriers. Um, and they're all activated by these things here. I guess we have to perform some sort of alternator. Woo. <laughs> what does a forest have to do with, with it, though? That's what I want to know. Yeah, there's definitely something about the forest, has to be. Don't know what it could be, though. Are we supposed to, like, jump onto a wall from the hill or something? Because right now it seems... Oh. Never mind, I think I just figured it out. It's back here. Oh! Oh! I did not even see that. As usual. Welcome back to another episode of me not seeing things.
Oh, what? What? Oh. What happens if we do this? Certainly nothing useful. Okay, that's weird. How do we get the connector then? And what does the forest have to do with it? That's what I want to know more than anything else. Me just trying to experiment with angles. How would we get this c extra connector, though? And what does the forest have to do with it? <laughs> that That's all I care about at this point. Is there something in the leaves, the trees? Do some of the trees like sway in the wind? And that swaying can be used to do an alternator or something. I don't know. I mean, these small bushes don't have hitboxes. And I can't tell if the big trees sway or not. I mean, I don't even know why we need to do an alternator. We just have the recorder self to turn things on and off. But I'm, I mean, I'm just curious. What does the forest have to do with this puzzle? <laughs> and how do we get this angle with... That's the other thing that I want to know even more. Yeah, what is it about the forest? Is there like a QR code on the ground hidden in the shadows that I must read? I really want to know. I am feeling brain dead, to be completely honest. Brain dead. Oh, there's more runes and stuff. Except they're just big blurry models used for background. Woohoo. Yeah, I genuinely can't tell if these big trees are swaying or not. Doesn't look like they are. And I don't know why that would be important anyway since we already have our recorded self to do the alternator. But... Yeah, what is this? Why is it another example of the angle being just wrong enough that we can't get this from here? Is there a secret entrance to this room without using the... I don't know, man. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we could get that with two connectors, like the recorded connector and the other one, but then what about this? What about this thing? What do we do for that then? I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty confused. 
And it's all just because the angle is just wrong enough that we can't directly get this to here. It's 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 another one of those things like those angles that are just wrong enough that you can't do it, but it feels like it should be possible. I, for one, am at a loss. We haven't even tried to enter this room yet. Maybe there's a, maybe there's something secret in the room, like another one of those switches. <laughs> and what does the forest have to do with it? Uh, that, that has become my only goal in life, to know the meaning behind this puzzle's name. Do you have any switches anywhere? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure the map maker is watching this and being very, very infuriated, like... Like, you, you missed it. You missed the obvious solution. You walked by it a million times. If there is, if there even is. Wait, what? Oh, I got, I got confused for a second. I don't even know anymore. My brain is just being very... Not smart. Is there a switch behind the recorder? <laughs> no. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. I know it was only for that one puzzle. And I know that was a one-time thing, but I'm not gonna stop making jokes about it. I'm not gonna stop making jokes about there being switches. Actually, let's just turn that into a running gag. Every single episode I ever do of a precious Slovakia map, I'll mention hidden switches. That That's a promise. From now on, that is my promise. How long has it been? Has it been like an hour? If you've fallen asleep by now, I don't blame you. My commentary is not very interesting today. I should be, I don't know, I, I kind of want to stop the episode now, because it is getting towards to be the later in the day. That sentence did not make any grammatical sense whatsoever. It is getting late in the day. I mean, it's still light outside, but it's, it's, it's 6.15. Can I say that? Is that, is that revealing too much personal information? My child, there is no shame in seeking another path. Shut up! Leave this mystery for another day. Shut up! No one likes you. <laughs> but yeah, for a second I was like hesitating on whether or not I, if I was allowed to say what time it is. Because <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I'm revealing my time zone so people will know where I am. Then they can come to my house just based on a time zone. But yeah, it's 6.15 right now when I'm recording this. I hope I'm allowed to say that. I hope I don't get doxxed because I revealed what time it is right now. And I, there's other stuff I'd like to do with my day. I'd like to edit a video for my main channel. Because if you don't know, this is actually my, my, my so-called second channel. Even though it was created first and it has more subscribers. Which is completely backwards. But my main channel, I make Minecraft videos. I know, that doesn't sound impressive. And it's not. But, but I'd like to do some of that today as well. So I'm so all that to say I'm kind of contemplating ending this episode here, but this puzzle is infuriating me and captivating me with between like the mystery of why the forest is here, what the point of the forest is, to these like just out of reach angles, everything is wanting me to stay and just run back and forth over and over again until I notice something that I didn't notice before. And I haven't even tried playing on the quarter yet. But I don't think it would do it. mouth is just open in shock. <laughs> my, my painful laugh. So now I know exactly what I need to be doing. The solution was so obvious this whole time. 
I just didn't see this. I didn't see this. <laughs> I was looking so hard in the forest for hidden things, and I missed that. I was even like going behind these statues too. I was like, oh my god, is there a switch? Is there something hidden? Is there something hidden? Is there something hidden? Oh my god, is there something hidden? Hmm, is there something hidden? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Nope, I guess not. Back to run over here. That sentence made no sense either. I can't talk. I am brain dead. My brain is fried. Oh my god. And the map maker probably saw it too. Cause, cause... They probably saw me just like like out of like in like the corner of the screen. They the blue thing. It's like it's right there, and I'm like I'm like do do do. These at uh, these these angles are really annoying. Do do do. I'm so frustrated. The forest. What's in the forest? Uh, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. And this happened too with with like I was saying earlier about the other Talos YouTubers, the ones who came before me, my my so-called ancestors, if you will. LB was playing a map called Rebirth by a person named Moose Moose, and LB just walked by, like, a blue emitter. And I saw it, and I was like, dude, you missed it! But the, but that, that, that Talos player just didn't see it, and I felt so superior to them in every way. And now look, the tides have turned. Now I am in that position. The people, the, the the three people who have chosen to take the time out of their day to watch this video are probably tearing their hair out because I missed this thing right here. All right, enough of me talking and actually being funny. People came here probably to watch me chillax and play some Talos and not just run back and forth in this direction. I've been running in a straight line back and forth this whole time with no sense of purpose. Like, like, like while I'm talking and thinking, I just run like back and forth. What am I doing? It's like, it's like I'm trying to think of an analogy. I don't know, like, uh, I can't think of an analogy. Okay, do I even want to solve this puzzle, or do I just want to end the episode right here on this note? Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna end it. <sighs> on that funny note, next time we'll come back, we'll solve this puzzle. It'll be very easy now that I actually know what I'm doing, and then we'll tackle one more attempt at... What was it called? That The purple enemy one? And then we'll be done with this map, and we can move on to Precious Slovakia's newer maps. Yay! I am so excited. I am going to suffer even more. Yay. I'm just kidding though. Your 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 maps are very good. Like I've always been saying, keep it up, keep up the good work. We're all very proud of you for Precious Slovakia, map maker person for doing your thing and making more maps and keeping the Talos community alive. And that's what we like to see, at least until Talos 2 comes out. And I, like, I think I might have said this in an earlier episode, but I myself have played with the Talos Principal Editor. I tried to make a map, I came really close, but then it just, the motivation, it left me. And someday I'll get back into it. Someday. Someday. It was my main hobby for, like, almost a year, though. And actually, a couple days ago was the anniversary of me, like, like, getting the editor. Like, like, two years April 23rd, 2021 was an I got the editor and I was trying to make my own puzzles and stuff. And I never ended up posting anything and now Precious Slovakia is here posting stuff for us all to enjoy. So thank you so much. That's what I'm trying to say. Thank you so much for making these maps, even though I may suffer from them at times. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next episode and forest.